So when we have denominators that are quadratic trinomials like this, your first step needs to be to factor, okay? x squared plus 3x plus 2 factors into x plus 2 times x, uh, x plus 1, excuse me. x plus 2 times x plus 1. Um, yeah, y'all have to start filling in at this one. I just had the first one completely done, but you got to fill in on this one. Okay, the second denominator, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is x plus 3 times x plus 2. Is there anything else in this problem that we can factor? Well, yeah, yeah, that numerator. We could take a negative out of that. And because that's in the same rational expression there, we can cancel those x plus 3s because it's in the same rational expression. Okay? So... I'm going to kind of write down what we've got so far because right now it's a little confusing. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so we've got minus a negative 1 left. Okay, so we've got minus a negative 1 left. So, yeah, we could go ahead and say, well, subtracting a negative 1 is the same as adding. Okay. Subtracting that negative 1 is the same as adding. All right, so now we need to analyze our LCD. Okay, We've got x plus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, You do not need x plus 2 twice. Okay, you do not need that x plus 2 twice. You only need it once. So that means the first expression here has the common denominator. So it's only the second one that is lacking the x plus 1. Okay. So they have the same denominator here. I'm just going to combine their numerators. So we've got negative x. Plus, distributing a 1 doesn't do anything, so that's just x plus 1. We need to combine like terms in the numerator. Negative x plus x cancels. So we've got 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 1. Do I need to start this one over? You don't like the green sheet? Okay, I'm sorry. You can just write it on your own paper then. That's fine. You don't have to use the green sheet. I was just trying to save you some space. Oh, well, I didn't cancel out the X plus 3 on the green sheet. That might have something to do with it. Sorry. Okay, let's just start number two over. Okay, start it over. Do it again. All right, that's okay. It's all good. Okay, so the green sheet confused you. Just write it on your own sheet of paper. Okay, because on the green sheet, I apologize, I did not cancel the x plus three. Um, I did it the long way, but you still end up with the same answer. Okay, you still end up with the same answer on that. <clears throat> all right, so let's try this again. Factor the denominators. X plus 2, X plus 1. X plus 3, X plus 2. We can also factor in the numerator. We can take out a negative. And when we do that, we get X plus 3 in the top and the bottom of the second rational expression. Because it's in the same rational expression, we can cancel it out. All right, so let's write down what we've got so we can look at getting a common denominator. <clears throat> no, I said on the paper, I didn't cancel it out. Life's a lot easier if we do cancel it out. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Might help if, you know, I actually kept this over here. All right. But it's proof that there are multiple ways to do this and still get the same right answer. All right. So, looking at the denominators. They both got x plus 2, but one of them's got x plus 1. The other one does not have x plus 1. So, we need to make it have x plus 1. So, we multiply the second one, top and bottom, by what it's missing. x plus 1. Now, subtracting in this negative 1 right here, we can combine that. Okay, that can become positive. Okay, subtracting in that negative 1 can become positive. So, we now have the same denominator, so we can just add their numerators, negative x plus x plus 1, I drop the parentheses because I'm adding it, over x plus 2 times x plus 1. No, you cannot cancel those x plus 1s because you're adding the 1 in the numerator. Okay, negative x plus x cancels, so we are left with 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 1. Okay, a little more sense this time. Okay, so you try number three, okay? You try number three. I already tell you what the right answer is. You 